the time had come for a new webcam. All the big name brands were way too expensive because of everybody working at home. So I thought I would try a lesser known brand and a cheaper one. And I'd get it working with FreeBSD. And this is how I did it. Here we have a TechNet 1080p webcam. It's got the built-in front light and it's USB-C powered, so it's uh, very nice. I'm going to unbox this little uh, bad boy. It was very cheap and um, if you're expecting any frills, then it's uh, it's not going to provide them, I don't think. It's got standard nice packaging. It's well, near, well it's got a well-made box, a uh, picture of the USB-C there. And the light on the side. Apple packaging it isn't, but uh, then again, I don't really care about that. So yes, it's very nice. Uh, it's fastened with two little, little tabs there. I'll just break that one. And that one. Okie doke. Very nice. Turn that round and it should just lift up. There we go. Let's put that down. Right in the box, we get a nice little uh, how to and instruction uh, manual, presumably in different languages. And uh, just click through that. Just a basic operation and using software which isn't available on my machine. So let's put that down. we got a little warranty card, I'll keep hold of that. And the camera itself. Um, oh, and the lead as well, and that's all you get. I'll just take that little thing off there. Just put it away. Because if I don't put it away, I'll probably stand on it. Yes, and uh, nice little packaging, I'll just unwrap that. Very nice, it's very light doesn't hardly weigh anything, although you can actually feel the weight from the bottom, which is a good thing. And a little minimum at the back. Yeah, the stand is uh, it's pretty heavy. At the back of the camera, got the um, USB-C port. There it is. So this is the second device now that I've got a USB. No, third one. The previous two have been uh, oh, Raspberry Pis. The bottom of the stand, it uh, opens up. And it's got a nice rubbery feel at the bottom. So I'll just put that away. Here's the connector lead. It's a USB-A at one end. I mean, that's what they call them. And a USB... C at the other one. Yeah, seems to be the way things are going these days. Right, put that away. So, that's not too bad. You get the basic cable, the camera itself, and some instructions which I've not put on there. And we'll set this thing up. Well, I'm filming this at the moment with my Logitech C270. And as you can see, although it shows everything it's meant to be in uh, 720, it's everything's a bit blurred. And I found that if I ever want to show anything, you know, like writing on a package or anything like that, it's, it's not going to happen. To set it up, First, I plug the webcam in, and this is the uh, information that came up on the screen. And that gives some useful information about uh, what device it is and what the name of it is. So doing a USB config, I could tell that it was using UGen 3.2. So I'm just going to stop uh, Webcam D. Now, I know I should use service uh, Webcam D stop, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't always work with a webcam that I've actually got presently connected. So to killing it all, I know it effectively stops. So issuing webcam D help, are you, uh, you're looking for the hyphen D, which is the device, and we know it's 3.2, and there we go. Now 
Right. Um, we're looking at this through OBS. It's a lot clearer. And although it's a little bit jaggy around the edges of uh, the shapes, etc. But not too bad. It's a lot brighter. And you can actually make out the text on this, which is a, a, a good improvement, at least. Just zoom in a little bit. I've got the camera resting on the microphone arm, actually, but... Uh, we'll see how it works. Yeah, HD, 1080p, touch control, and built-in LED lights. So the front of that, uh, that white panel there actually lights up with three different settings. Which is very nice indeed. Having configured uh, OBS correctly and put on the right resolution, which I'll, I'll show you how I did that now. Um, by default, it goes YUIV422, uh, uh, and you don't want to do that. You want to go on this particular case, in this instance, it's BGR3 emulated. So, this is what it looks like on the default settings for OBS. You can get every resolution except 1920 by 1080p. Uh, the highest being 1280 by 720, which I was using previously. And there you go. The choice of F, uh, the frame rate is down to just 10. So we go back to BGR3. And now you can actually choose 1920 by 1080. And the frame rate is either 30 or 25, which is really what we want. And that really does make a world of difference. I've also found that on this particular camera, auto mode or shutter priority mode uh, is personal preference. I prefer on the shutter priority mode. And doing that will give us the best uh, we can from this camera, I think. Right, I'm going to issue a new USB config because I've uh, unplugged and plugged back the uh, USBs in different ports. And now we're on um, 7.3 rather than 3.2 as previously. So this is the camera that is bought. And the one above it is the Logitech C270. So the bottom one is the one that we want. Oh, what I do is I create a little bash script, a uh, little shell script, uh, nothing fancy, but it tells you webcam D what to uh, initialize and what to connect. And there's a Logitech one and the new one that I've just bought. So I get that to start every time the computer boots up. If you do change the ports on the uh, USB, then you know, you're going to need to uh, alter this little script thing. And I keep the script in the uh, scripts folder in my home directory. So in order to get that to work every time I start the computer, I'm going to use cron tab. We put it in as a little cron job. And it says, at reboot, it says, activate this little script. And that's all it takes. Well, even the key thing is to remember which ports you're using. Well, it's a great little camera. It's very cheap. It seems to get the job done. It does show up the hideous wallpaper, though. That's going to be redecorated soon. And I think the question is, would I recommend it? Well, yes. I mean, I was wanting a new webcam, but all the top brand name ones, the Logitech, I mean, is it 920? I can't remember. But the, uh, the Logitech ones, which have good ratings, they were all, what, doubled in price. I think because of the pandemic and people working from home has pushed office equipment and electronics like webcams, etc., way, way too high. So I opted for a cheaper one, uh, not knowing what, the quality was going to be like. Uh, I hadn't seen any reviews on it, and at that time when I bought it, it was twenty. Ooh, it was twenty-two pounds. Uh, I'll put on screen what that is in US dollars, but it was it was really cheap. So I mean, really, with that, if it didn't work, you're not losing much. But surprisingly, it does work, and it works very nicely. FreeBSD picks it up straight away, and uh, I know it's nothing fancy like a 4K video and, and stuff like that. Well, that that's fine. I only need to, uh, I need just I need an improvement to what I already had. So 1080p is just uh, fine for me. Anyway, this is just a quick video. I just thought I'd show this and uh, also show how you can use Webcam D and a little cron to get things going. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.